I've kept with me and what I've thrown away. Where the hell I've ended up on this glary random day. The things I really cared about I'm left along the way. I'm feeling too penned up and proud. Howdy, heartfrobs. I'm back again with another review. It is with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that my product advisor and self-proclaimed Jiminy Cricket has deleted all of his comments and moved on. But I know you're watching Tim. So, just an update on the merch. We've got my one here, as you can see. And in case you get lost, go right up close to the camera. Got a little word search for you. These are the words that you've got to look for in there. There's a couple of hidden little nuggets in there as well. Get out of the way. On with the review. Today, I will be looking at the Engway P275 ST. ST stands for Step Through. It is a mid-drive 250 watt motor torque sensor. It has got a nine speed Shimano, what's that? Altus gear set which is a step up from the Shimano Tawny. Hydraulic brakes, disc brakes, 27 and a half inch wheels, luggage rack capable of carrying 25 kilo, a lovely loud bell, and all in all is a comfortable, comfortable ride. I've done 10 miles so far, give or take, so I thought I'd run you through the good bits and the bad bits. Obviously there's no suspension on it. The tires do take up a lot. One thing I really like is the seat. Very adjustable, very quick. Doesn't have a brake light. Don't know why. The other ring way I had did have a brake light. Has got a built-in front light, which is very powerful. With it being torque sensor, the more pressure you put on the pedals, the more power it gives you. So the gearing inside the mid-drive motor if you're climbing a hill and starting off, it will give you the most amount of power. As it gets easier, it will give you slightly less power, and again, slightly less power. So if you start feeling like the hill is getting too much, ease off, start pedaling again, and it'll take you up there with more power assistance. It has been an absolute dream to ride. Um, yeah, I, there's, there's not a lot of negatives I can say about this. Stupidly, I didn't charge this before I came out fully because my wife's been using it to drive to the stables and I only started off with a half battery. So there's a very good chance I'm going to be pedalling home under my own steam. But it's easy to pedal. They claim it's got a range of, what did I say, 250 kilometres. That's if you're using the minimal pedal assist or 150 kilometres if you're beefing it up. To date, we have done... I can't see, 53 miles and we're on half battery. Do the math, unless that jumps back down again. Um, my wife loves it. Come around here and tell them what you think of the bike. Yeah, graceful, like a gazelle. <laughs> it's very dodgy. I love it, it's fantastic, really, yeah. It's a girly bike, and I like the fact that it's a step over. Not step through. Step through, whatever. You don't hurt your girly bits. So I should not hurt my girly bits today. The fit and finish of the bike, really good, is all I can say. Um, all of the parts, the Tektro brakes, uh, yeah, you can't see any welds. I actually even like the way they've put the removable battery in. Um, <coughs> It's a really good looking, usable bike. Metal mug guards. Because it is a commuter bike, it's not got the studded pedals, but they are metal pedals and they are rippled. Do like a ripple um, with rubber around them. Works absolutely fine. I'm loving the mid drive. First mid drive I've tried. Instant when you put your pedal down. It feels like you're riding a normal bike but without the effort. Cadence sensors are not my favorite. Torque sensors with the engine at the back are brilliant. 
mid drive all the way gotta say it's awesome so far the bikes anyway have sent me i can't complain at really good quality so the battery is a 36 volt 19.2 amp hour battery um do the math on that whatever the battery is it works that's electricery i'm not really technically minded what is that to say? What is that to say? The one thing, there is a negative. The little display you have isn't very clear in, you know, daylight. Now, no doubt you can adjust that, not a problem. There's no throttle, which isn't a bad thing, makes it completely UK legal. Yeah, I am loving this bike currently. It's just a shame you look like a Wendy when you're riding it, but they do do one with the crossbar. Could be a bit of a plumb sacrificer even geometry i'm getting enough leg extension with the uh, saddle up at its highest have a look it's for short people up the tall people i've forgotten can you tell i've forgotten i might have put a little thing there they can't see that i'm talking to you and you're looking very angry let's get on the road again the my good lady has been moaning that the tires are a little bit soft which is great because i've had something in my pocket for the last two months that i've yet to have a try at Flextail gear, bike pump. How does it work? Press and hold. Oh, don't get too excited, it's a bike pump. So, I did change the thing around. You literally whack it on. Look at that. Does it go higher? No. I've broken it. Oh, just let it start, Lee. There we go. And away it goes. And you'd be a kit that jack, isn't it? Is it gonna go pop? I'll tell you in a minute. That's a good little bit of kit, isn't it? What do you think? I'll press an old, see if it turns off. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Just didn't make a noise. I should really read instructions. I don't know how many bike tyres that will actually pump up, or how long the battery lasts, or anything like that. I have been impressed with their tiny bike, uh, tiny inflatable pump stuff. Paddleboard pump that we've yet to try. Flextail gear, link in the description below. Have a look. Like it, don't like it, buy it, don't buy it, do what you bleeding like. So first and foremost, as I always say, this is a bike first and an e-bike second. Let's see how she rides with no pedal assist at all. Overtaking Bramble Air, who's still getting a grips with the power of the E26. So I'm currently in fifth gear, wrong weight, sixth gear. Yep, seventh, going through the gears, absolutely fine. Really no issue riding it like a bike. Comfy, nice seating position. Seat feels reasonably comfortable. It's a bike seat, and you know what I say, no such thing as a comfy bike seat. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me because the wind is uh, very loud, but She's really, really smooth. I've got her on pedal assist currently, and the pickup is instant when you put your feet down. I'll go through a bit, the level of power or assist you get and how it delivers the power, because it's quite good. No suspension on this bike, but it's got relatively thick tires for a commuter stroke city bike, <laughs> and it doesn't feel too bad. Although my camera would uh, disagree with me as it's just been jolted down. So ahead of us is a 10% hill. I'm in top gear, pedal assist 5, waiting for it to drop down below 15 mile an hour. And we'll see what it gives us going up the hill. And there we go, it's in. 
So it's a torque sensored bike, which means the more energy you're putting into the pedals, the more power it gives you. And at the top of the hill, went down to fifth gear. I could feel myself putting in a little bit of effort. No real issues. Coming up to another steep incline now. On a normal bike, it's a long, long, about a quarter of a mile, 10% hill. I would be absolutely blowing at the end. Now, my legs are feeling it. Bear in mind, I rode 30 miles the other day on the Ithan wheel bike, and I walked about 15 miles yesterday, stroke day before, up and down big hills with weight on my back. So, my legs were already tired. The power delivery of this, the pickup is instant, I love it. So, with this being a torque sensor, basically there is three different gears within the mid-drive motor. So when you're pulling up a hill to start with, and you're applying the most amount of force, it will use the most amount of power. As the pressure on the pedals gets less, it jumps down to the next power setting and again an even lower power setting now if you start going uphill and you're finding it a bit of a struggle if you stop pedaling for a second and then restart pedaling it will give you the more power setting again i'm not sure if that makes sense i'll go through it a bit later it's so much more responsive you feel like you're riding a bike proper, not like the cadence sensor where you're just a passenger. As my good lady's finding out behind me. I'm not sure if she's liking it. But again, big long hill, coming to the top now. And it's cruised it to be fair. Again, pulling away, instant so much better my good lady on that fat tire bike there's no way I'm catching her bringing out some good kit around way yeah, as I say no suspension it's quite a bumpy little track down here the steering's very responsive Nice and easy to stand on. If anything, that steering could be a little bit too responsive. Don't race me. Don't try and race me just because you've got the faster bike. My bike is nice. I like it. All right. This is, as you can make out, my good lady's bike. And to date, she's put 44 miles on it. And it ain't even used half a battery. It's got a stated range of um, 250 kilometers, that's on pedal assist one, or 150 kilometers on pedal assist five. And to be honest, I've got no reason to doubt it. I've just had a big, long, straight area, and the pedaling is absolutely effortless. I am, it's the, the most enjoyable ride I've had on a bike as in effort-wise. So easy to control your speed, as opposed to the cadence sensors. It's so maneuverable. Yeah, it really, really is a great bike to ride. She was meant to stay next to me to, you know, give me a bit of glamour. I'll have to make my own glamour. So here we come to the gravelly off-roady section. That step through is nice getting off. No plum. 
lovely head. Weasel through there, see if the wife crashes. No, she didn't. Bit of a shame. I am absolutely loving this bike. It's so quiet, so smooth. Even a little bit of bumps are no problem. Effortless to ride, nice position. I'm eight miles in and my ewe paint saw, which is a bonus. So this is a right angle turn going over a bridge. Instant power out of it when you put your pedal down. I really can't complain. I can see why my wife likes this bike. They do do a non-step through version of it. Thank you. Now here we go. This is where I could possibly go for a burn. We'll take out their metal mud guards and what she's like on gravel. As I say, I've got no worries or concerns with the tires being able to use it. You might suffer with a bit of vibration. How about you get your dog? Obviously my good lady can just oik through everything here. Bit of slop. Nothing to worry about. Happy, happy days. Yeah, so far so good. Even on a little bit of the bumpy stuff. Not a problem at all. My guard's working. Yeah, just my feet getting wet. Oh, but you can see, you can see how bumpy it is by the way that my um, camera is loopy the looping. Oh, the weight of this thing is coming in at 25 kilos. This, by the way, is going to be very slippery. You can see where a lot of people have uh, slipped and slid. These narrow tyres are not going to like these slimy cobbles, but it's doing all right. It's, wee front end went a little bit there. Thicker mud, but easily enough recoverable. My feet are not hitting that mud guard either, which is a bonus. We've had mud, gravel, road, uh, unmade road, and it's holding up really, really well. The other thing, just make sure I'm pretty clear here, is yeah, it's a well-centered bike. No issues with that whatsoever. Look at the saddlebags on that bike. Yes, I am. In Pothole Central. And up, up. Easy to navigate, nearly took me missus out, who's loving that fat tire. Suspension seat post. Are you liking it? Um, I prefer my horse to go a lot quicker, but... Out of the... Out of the two bikes... Out of both bikes, I prefer mine. Which is this one? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's as nice as it is, it's a bit too powerful for me. So... You're in. Yeah. Have you cranked up the top speed yet? I'm free. I'm free! Going that way. Another thing I really like with this setup is that in your differing power modes, you will still get assistance up to 15 and a half mile an hour, just literally more power. Whereas with the cadence sensors, they're all sort of speed restricted. Torque sensors, mid drive engine is just a joy to ride. I, mean, I even sound like I'm enjoying cycling. If they had this sort of engine, maybe with a little bit more power, in an off-road suspension mountain bike that was capable of carrying a bit of luggage and doing bike packing on, it would be absolutely awesome. Properly awesome.
normally on these reviews I would do a 30 mile loop to show you the range and everything like that but because I didn't charge the battery and I know how far my good lady went she's also told me that that was all on the highest setting of boost um, we have currently covered over 60 miles and I'm flashing between one and two bars on the battery so there's no point actually doing the full 30 miles because I know it would kill it absolutely kill it and I don't want to run it until it's flat because to be fair it wouldn't road hog it wouldn't be a fair test for the battery because she's had it constantly on boost I've got it on eco at the moment and it is an absolute delight to ride that's the way to do it thank you I also believe I could be making this up but it's Engway's 10th anniversary I've got some sort of discounts and that down below also they're offering a gift box um, got a hat in it Ivy's jacket some stickers yeah they're sending them out as well so if that's the sort of thing that floats your boat I'll let you have a look at it if not you're getting it anyway all right oh that jumped out on me you can also jump this bike by the looks of it so about 20 miles into the trip now confident to give you enough pros and cons of this bike and there ain't a lot of cons I'm not gonna lie to you um, the way it rides I, I can't have a go at it for not having any suspension because it's a city type commuter bike it's not meant to have suspension the size of the tires have actually eaten up a lot of the bumps and it hasn't been uncomfortable despite the footage you're gonna look on that pole it's gonna be bouncing around like a madman but it's not been that bad to ride couple of negatives my feet are wet through going through the puddles but obviously the guards wouldn't solve that anyway there is a little bit of wobble do you want to come in and a little bit of wobble in that seat as you're going along nothing too bad but i've got to mention it um yeah there's not really a lot else i can complain about it's been a thoroughly enjoyable ride i love the seat up and down that Oh yeah, that is a negative. You do need to be able to see that better um, in daylight. Everything else works as it should do. That motor, the Ananda motor, game changer for me. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously the Green Beast that I've been riding, you can crank that up, you can do 32 mile an hour on it. Yeah, not a problem, it'll power you up any hills. It is a beast. The riding experience of it isn't as enjoyable as riding that so yeah my wife just thought she'd turn the camera off for uh, and giggles so what i will do now i will bring her in because she's wearing her helmet and looks really special <laughs> <laughs> now that you've ridden both yeah what do you make of them stop scratching that i'm not scratching it i'm moving it about um <clears throat> i prefer mine yep over yours even though that's got suspension <laughs> sorry <laughs> even though that's got suspension i find that a lot more enjoyable enjoyable to ride than that one i just felt every bump every bump on you, my new new yeah but we have been riding off road you've only been riding on the road good point well i, prefer, I prefer road <laughs> so in between the two e-bikes my way lady prefers road because she likes to keep on topic anyway That'd be it. Don't forget the merch. Until next time, ta-ra!